Hey, what's up guys? After quite a few weeks of beta stages, after three entire beta iterations, technically four, Apple today has released iOS 12.1.3 to the general public. Now this marks the fifth iteration of iOS 12 to be released to the general public. So let's take a look at today's update. If I head into the settings app, navigate to general and to software update, this is where you can download and install it if you guys want to. But as you may suspect, if you guys are intending on jailbreaking, definitely avoid this update at all costs. Actually, Apple is still signing iOS 12.1.1. That signing window will be closing very shortly, so definitely downgrade to that software if you have yet to. Anyway, on to today's update. Apple released iOS 12.1.3. It's coming in right at 301.4 MB on my iPhone 10. Granted, the size of that update will depend on which version you are updating from and which device you have. Now, new features in iOS 12.1.3, what are they? Well, there really isn't anything outward facing. There is absolutely no new features for the general public. It's all under the hood improvements and security enhancements and bug fixes with this 301 megabyte update. Now, I'm currently on iOS 12.1.1. If you go to learn more, this is actually what this update addresses in particular. It sounds like a few bugs were addressed in iMessages, a few photos issues, and a few more issues that only relate to the iPad and to CarPlay. Now, this update also has been released for the HomePod, which also addresses two major issues as well. But as you guys can see, absolutely no new features. Now, unfortunately, as of recording this video, Apple is yet to update update their security page on exactly what they patched and what they fixed within this update. This page right here came from this link right here, but unfortunately iOS 12.1.3 is not mentioned as of yet. So we'll have to wait and see exactly what they did patch, but as a general rule of thumb, definitely stay on the lowest version of iOS 12 that you possibly can if you want to jailbreak in the near future. Now I am currently on iOS 12.1.1, so updating from this to 12.1.2 was an 83 MB update. And like I said, today's is a massive 301 MB update. Anyway, like I said, absolutely no new features on this update, so definitely do not update to iOS 12.1.3 if you're interested in jailbreaking. And unfortunately, the jailbreak scene for iOS 12 has been in a little bit of a stalemate. There hasn't been anything released as of late to really report on or to give you guys an update. Really, we're just waiting for somebody to release a major kernel level patch for iOS 12. Other security researchers have done demos of jailbreaks on the latest iOS 12.1.2. It's only a matter of time for them to release a new jailbreak demo for iOS 12.1.3, proving that it's possible. But again, if anything like that comes out or if anything is actually released to the general public for a jailbreak for iOS 12, I'll be the first to update you guys on this information. But for now, just be patient. Just wait and stay on the lowest version of iOS 12 that you guys possibly can. Later today, I will be pushing a downgrade video um, and I'll also do a Geekbench test and a follow-up to this to see how iOS 12.1.3 runs, but I'm guessing it's going to be pretty dang comparable to iOS 12.1.1. Just minor bug fixes and patches for your iPhone or iPad as Apple puts. Anyway guys, that is pretty much the gist of it. Definitely do not update to it. Stay tuned as Apple for sure is going to be releasing a new iOS 12 beta relatively soon, probably iOS 12.2, and that may actually include some new features. So while this update wasn't too interesting or exciting, there are new things to come, and I'm really excited to see what Apple wants to bring to iOS 12 before iOS 13 hits the shelves this fall. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. Definitely give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe if you want to stay updated on the latest jailbreaking updates. Again, thank you so much for watching, but until next time, this is Tony signing out.